right, you guys, you are going to love this. Live Good CEO Ben Glinski gets interviewed, and he's going to answer all the questions that you've been dying to hear. So enjoy the video. So welcome to our live Meet the CEO webinar. We got our amazing director of product development, Dr. Ryan Goodkin, kind of to moderate today. So Ryan, I'll let you uh, take it away and lead with the questions. All right, guys, let's get right into it, Ben. We've got a bunch of questions. Let's just try to, let's just jump in. Let's see how many we can get through. So Ben, Mr. Ben Glinsky, besides being an awesome visionary leader, who are you, man? Awesome. Great question. So who am I? So I, you know what? I, I'm just a normal guy. Um, I think, uh, you know, people see me as a successful business person, but the truth is business kind of takes a backseat to a lot of the other things in my life. I think the most important thing in my life is my wife and kids. They get the most of my effort, energy, attention. After that, it goes to fun, exercise, travel, um, doing things that I enjoy with people that I enjoy. And then after that gets into business and entrepreneurship, making money and helping others. So that's um, actually speaking of helping others, we do a lot of, of philanthropic things. And I don't want that to sound like business isn't priority. And you guys as members and affiliates of Live Good aren't priority um, because I do put a ton, probably most of my time goes into this, but that's after, you know, I give my family the, the time that they want. I make it a point to always say yes to my wife and kids anytime they ask me to do anything. Um, and uh, and then, you know, I, I spend a lot of time focused on the business stuff. And, and I think that helps keep me balanced and, and actually brings the best out of the business side, um, you know, when I can focus on that and not have to worry about other things. So good question. The next question is going to jump right into business. So Ben, are we planning, are you planning on adding services? Are we looking at things like travel, digital? What, what are we looking to add as far as new services? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, we've got a huge base of members already just this early in the game. And I think as we get into the millions and millions of, of members, that is definitely a possibility. On the short term, it's definitely not on the priority list. Um, you know, give us a year or so, see where we are. And, and it's... Uh, you know, nothing's out of the question. That's great. Okay. Next question is, are you planning incentives for members, maybe with qualification requirements? Again, not on the short-term priority list. We don't have any, any uh, plans to do any additional incentives for affiliates, even as you achieve rank. I mean, the compensation plan is, is super, super generous. Um, and I think everything that we're doing is awesome. And quite honestly, there's uh, you know, we're running pretty lean on margins and to add, I mean, everything that, that we add is just, uh, you know, it's, it, it's tight. So, um, no, it's not, not in the budget, not in the plans. Uh, I'm just going to put a no on that one. All right. Next question, Ben, why do you work in the warehouse? Don't you have employees to do that? That's an awesome question. I love that question. Mm -hmm. Um, and I hope you guys are going to love the answer. So there's really three, four reasons that I do that. Number one, my son, He's 15 years old. He started working there when he was 14, packing boxes um, to give him an opportunity to, to have a job, to make some money. And he does an amazing job. But I, I enjoy you know, spending time with him, just being able to hang with them. Is, so that's number one reason to, to be able to hang with my son. But the other reasons are, I, I think, even more um, important. And, and number one is I'd like being able to see how things are running in our business, in our facility. I like seeing our employees. I like meeting our employees, getting to know them on a deeper level. And I have the opportunity to talk to them. I always buy them lunch on Saturdays when I'm in there so we can talk and, um, you know, just learn about them, their families, where they came from, what they like, what drives them. Uh, and I think that's important to have a good relationship with your employees. And I think at the same time, it, it motivates the employees to, to want to do a good job if they see that you care about them and we genuinely care and Ryan's the same way he gets in there and, and packs boxes when we need them um and the third reason is you know I I like to be able to find any inefficiencies things we're doing right things we're doing wrong um you know if we're doing something right I, I like to encourage that and, and promote it and say you know recognize that Lee our awesome warehouse manager is killing it uh, and if there's you know inefficiencies or things that I think we can improve on I let them know. We like to 
lead by example and show our employees, hey, we care about this place. And hopefully that'll, you know, encourage them to care and, and work as hard as they can for us. Next question. A lot of people think live good is too good to be true. What part of live good would you consider to be most misunderstood? Or in other words, why do people feel that way? That's an interesting question. Probably because it's it's different. It's unique. It's something that's never been done before. We have the most amazing high quality products um, and we make them available for a few dollars above cost. So you guys can actually get them, get benefit from them and have success, uh, you know, both physically and financially with it. How is it possible that we can have such high quality products at such affordable prices from a business well, perspective? I mean, Right. So again, you look at network marketing companies and in order to have a compensation plan that pays out what these companies are paying out 50, 60 percent in a lot of companies, you know, you make a product for 10 bucks and you're selling it for 60. You pay out half of that. You're at, you know, 30 bucks minus 10. You got to have the company's got to have a little bit of profit in there. And a lot of these companies have a lot of overhead. They've got a lot of corporate employees. They have a big corporate office. Um and the company needs to make money. So the way we do it, again, is a little bit different. Instead, we kind of, it's almost like we're pooling our money together to buy these products in bulk, the highest quality. I mean, Ryan formulates them. He does not skimp on ingredients, on quality, on manufacturing, really on anything, um, so that we can create these amazing products and sell them for, you know, for lower prices than everyone else and still we have enough of a profit margin in there to keep the company healthy um, and to, to allow you guys to get the products that you need and to save people money. And then on the membership side, you know, there's a little bit of profit in there as well to run the company. And so, again, we run on very thin margins. I mean, right now we've got about 600,000 users as of, you know, about eight months in since we've launched this power line and, and compensation plan. And we're ordering a ton of inventory. We work on low profit margins. I mean, look, so a lot of companies, I mean, they brag about having 100 corporate employees. We have, what, like six customer service people and like eight warehouse packers. I mean, that's our staff. Our entire operating cost is under $100,000 a month, which is very low compared to most companies out there. A few months ago, Ben, you posted a video about the compensation plan. I think it has thousands and thousands of views. There's a question here that says, is there any possibility of the compensation plan uh, being changed? That's a good question. So anytime you change a compensation plan, unless you're just straight adding to it, you're always, if you change something, you're going to help some people and you're going to hurt some people. And we don't like to do that. We don't like to the, the second part of that. I would say most likely, no, there won't be any changes. You know, anything is possible, but in the short term, no. Okay, thank you. Next up, this one I hear too. And I think all of us have people on the fringe that are saying these types of things. And I'm very curious to see and hear how you go, how you answer this question. So people are saying live good will not last. How can we be sure live good will be here long term? And that that's an interesting question. I don't know where the concern might come from there. Because we, first of all, we do everything right, everything clean. Um, 100 percent legal, 100 percent fair. So uh, and our products are absolutely amazing. I, I, and I do I guess maybe the question comes from seeing a lot of other companies, you know, go from nothing to really big to gone in a few years. And I think part of the reason for that is they're all led by the opportunity, by the money. And that's not to say that live good isn't, and I'll, I'll get to that in a second. But I think the thing that's going to make live good long term compared to all these other companies is the products. That's what is big. Look, we're probably selling more. We are selling more products than most companies in the network marketing industry who where you have to buy a product to get paid in that company. We're selling more product than almost all of those companies. And there are no requirements to buy product. No one has to purchase products in LiveGood. That's what's going to make this a long-term opportunity. The, sub, the nutritional supplement industry, I don't know the exact number, but it's a multi, multi-billion dollar industry. We have the highest quality products on the planet at the lowest prices anywhere. Mm -hmm. it, 
just makes sense. People are want products. They want value. And again, that word, I'm sure it's going to come up a few more times in this call. They want value. And that's exactly what we're offering. So that's what's going to continue driving this company long term. Yes, I think a lot of people who maybe don't get enough spillover aren't seeing you know hundreds of dollars a month. I think we're going to get people dropping out if they're making 12 bucks a month, even though it's covering their membership, if they're not buying the product. But the people who are buying the product, guys, they're going to stay on this company for years and years and years. Even if they go to another opportunity, another company where they're making money, there's not going to be a better place to get higher quality products at a better price than LiveGood. So I see a lot of people might leave the opportunity side, but continue to be a customer of LiveGood for years and years to come. And I think that's really the, the backbone. And again, every product that we continue to add just creates more value for that $9.95 a month membership that people aren't going to stop paying. All right. Next question. Are we going to add another rank? And I had referenced earlier about adding crown diamond. So are we adding another rank? It's again, it's possible. As I talked about earlier, our, our, okay. Our compensation plan, guys, I, I want you, for those of you who know how to do math, if you add up all the percentages that we pay out in the compensation plan, we pay out 80% on the front end. 80% of the initial $10 and the $40 affiliate fee, 80% get paid out to you guys in commissions. On the back end, it's up to 85%. If you add all those, it's 37.5% in the matrix. It's 45% in matching bonuses because we pay out all of those matching bonuses. It's not like that 5% or that 5%. It's that 5%, that 5%, that 5%, that 5%. I think seven times or something, plus the 50, plus the 10, plus the other 10, plus the fives. I mean, the threes. Um, and then the two and a half percent in the bonus pool. So it's up to, and obviously different legs. Some legs were maxed out. Some actually no legs were maxed out because we don't have five crown diamonds stacked in any individual leg. So we're probably still under 80% total payout there, but that's on the monthly membership. So, and keep in mind on the yearly membership, we're actually paying out 12 months on only taking in 10 months. So we're paying out eight out of the $10 or eight out of the almost $8 for the yearlies. Um, so the margins, again, are, are really tight. So to add anything to this compensation plan, um, we'd have to be, you know, we'd have to easily be in the millions of, of members at that point. But at the same time, we'd have to have, you know, when we first launched our crown diamond rank, it was because when our first diamond asked me, you know, what do we need to do to get another rank? He wanted something else to, uh, to strive for. I'm like, as soon as we hit 10 diamonds, I'll add another rank. We hit 10 diamonds. He called me out I'm like, all right, crown diamonds here. Uh, so I'll, you know, I'll, I'll throw the same carrot out there. You know, we have 10 crown diamonds. We'll add another rank. Um, yeah, we'll put it at that. So there you go. Ben, I think I might replay that, that answer a couple of times. Cause that's really important. I, I like that answer. Thank you. Uh, Ben, that concludes it, man. That is everything. I'm hoping this will be the first of a few, like you said, maybe the others can, uh, we can do this with uh, each department, but Ben, is there anything, uh, closing words that you have for us? Yeah, let me see if anyone else asked me. I, I've, I've been getting the emails and Facebook messages. Here's one. Is there ever a possibility for a distribution center and manufacturing center for the CBD products for them to be available in Canada due to our Canadian laws? Yes, there is a possibility. Um, it is not on the, the short-term radar. I mean, CBD, guys, is a great product. Don't get me wrong, but it's one of like 20 of our products. And in the order of popularity, as far as how many you know bottles get ordered every day, it's probably like, I don't know if it's even in the top 10 right now. Great product. But having that product internationally, having that product in Canada, I don't believe is going to going to have a serious impact one way or the other on volume, on memberships, on affiliates. So again, that's not on the short term plans. Once we get a million members in Canada, will it be worth doing? Probably, yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining. And uh, anything else, Ryan? I don't think so, man. It was great. Thank you so much, Ben. Cool. All right. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for joining.